In this video, I'm going to attempt to explain the major LCD panel types and what they are good for. I'm also going to touch on some of the variants of these panels. TN panels are cheap to produce. So monitors with them tend to be cheap as well, but this is not always the case. They have the fastest response times of any other LCD panel and have been considered the gamers panel because of it. Response time is important because it affects how much ghosting or blurring the image has. And because of the fast response times, 120Hz and beyond can be produced using them. Although contrast levels and color accuracy are very poor on TN panels. Their viewing angles are very small compared to the other panels, and when your view is shifted vertically, gamma tends to darken or brighten the image. If you had the same color all over a TN panel, the color would look different at each place on the monitor. Even though the panel should be uniform, the viewing angles don't allow it to be. Most people don't notice this unless they're looking for it, so I'd say it usually isn't an issue unless you place the monitors in portrait mode. In portrait mode, the gamma shifting is now on the x-axis instead of the y-axis. This makes portrait setups not optimal for this monitor type. If you could angle the monitors towards you, it can be combated, but this will also force you to keep your head in one sweet spot, and it will hurt your neck after prolonged use. This next panel type is called IPS. IPS panels are great for color accuracy and have the best viewing angles of all LCD panels. Static contrast levels are currently around 1001, but older panels had much less. And pixel response times are slower than TN, but not the slowest. Modern panels are usually good enough for gaming. These monitors tend to be the most expensive, though there are variants that are cheaper. Since the viewing angles are so good on IPS, you can actually use them in portrait mode. You won't see any difference in this mode like you would in, with TN panels. The last of the major panel types is called VA. It's kind of a mix of the last two, but it has its own strengths as well. VA has the highest static contrast ratio of any panel type. Blacks are usually extremely black. Its color is much better than a TM panel, but falls short of an IPS. It has very good viewing angles, but not the best, but still good. This makes a panel also acceptable for portrait mode. But the response times on VA panels are usually very slow, slower than any other type of panel, but it can be helped with overdrive. Overdrive improves the responsiveness but if overdone, it can create its own artifacts on the screen that looks a lot like negative blur. If the image that was moving was white, you'd see a black shadow following it. However, the example on the screen is exaggerated just to show you what I'm talking about. For a long time, Samsung was only making VA and TN panels. They didn't have something to combat the IPS panel that was being produced by LG. So they decided to make the PLS panel, which as far as I know is exactly the same as an IPS panel. So with all the panel types out there, I think for multi-monitor gamers, the best one is IPS panels. They have really good color, they have really good uniformity, and their viewing angles are unsurpassed. And for all of us who like our monitors and portrait, they're pretty much the best solution. Thanks for watching this panel comparison. I hope you learned some things and hope that this will help with your new purchasing decisions. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And this has been Sukin to Mew from the widescreen gaming forum. I hope to see you next time.